Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Oklahoma City Dodgers and the Round Rock Express. Striding into the box, Zach Rex. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Lined but speared on a hop. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now batting, Drew Jackson. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Tyler White will bat next. First ad bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Hard hit toward the hole. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Standing in now, DJ Peters took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Late, Gray Kessinger. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. So striding in, Jeremy Pena as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The one two. Ball. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is set in a tone pound in the zone. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Sent on the ground out the second. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. At the plate, Taylor Jones looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Two out, nobody on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Stepping up now, Jack Mayfield. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The three two pitch. And he ball misses four. again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Striding forward now is the DH, Ronnie Dawson. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. And that misses, ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. Coming to the plate now, Corey Lee. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Fastball well outside. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Stepping into the box, Chaz McCormick. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. And a 
the curveballs by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. With runners in scoring position this season, McCormick is below the Mendoza line, a batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. One and two. Here it is. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Second inning set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Cabert Ruiz. One and two. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. McCormick arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Luke Rayleigh batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. He breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the second out. The second baseman. Digging in, Jake Peter. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. Batting it. The third baseman, Christian Santana. At the plate, Christian Santana. High in the air out to center field. McKenna will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now and next to bat will be the outfielder Alex McKenna. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Into the box now, Stephen Wren. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now the one and one pitch. Back up the middle. Oh, look at the sliding stop. On to first, a double play. Now at the plate, Ray Kessinger. He went down swinging to start the home first. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Next will be the designated hitter, Errol Robinson, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Now the one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKenna is there, and he has it for the first out. Stepping in, Zach Rex. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Two ball, one strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty, one man out. Three two. 
a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Now batting. So coming to the plate, Drew Jackson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Heading out towards shallow right. Wren will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Two and one. Two and one. Curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Pitch on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Rayleigh is there, one away. Now in the box, Taylor Jones. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. To two and two now. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here it comes. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up, and there are two away now. So stepping in, Jack Mayfield. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Ball and two strikes now. Hit hard toward the right side. It gets down, and that'll be extra bases on their first hit of the game. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Now back, the designated hitter, Ronnie Dawson. So now to the plate, Ronnie Dawson. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. A one-two pitch on the ground to the right side. Reined in. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and here comes the first baseman, Tyler White. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now the 2 1 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Now batter. So one gun in the, the inning here with the runner at first. And K Bear Ruiz will dig into the plate. Hit on the ground toward the left. 
And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Now batting the right fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Stepping in now, Luke Rayleigh. Ball. And there's ball two now. Two ball, one strike. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. White over at second. Ruiz is over at first with one away. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And now it'll be the catcher, Corey Lee. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a liner, but foul. Now another 2-2. fouled away now the pitch another one sent foul the 2 2 one more time a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap and that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now back, left fielder, Jack McCormick. At the plate now, Chaz McCormick. And he fouls this one off. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. Number One out. Fielder, four. Settling in now, Alex. Alex McKenna. He drew a base on balls his first time up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Hit out towards second. And that's the second out. Ready for another chance? Now Steven back. Wren, runner in scoring position with Sagan. One and one. Here it is. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The set and the 2 1. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So digging in now, Jake Peter. He reached on a single in his first try. A ball and two strikes. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. On uh, a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. Now back Striding in, Christian Santana. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that is just shy of the box seats off the top of the wall. Now back, designated hitter, Errol Robinson. To the plate now, Errol Robinson. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. 
Now back. Left fielder. Back. Yeah. In now, Zach Wax. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in there. And the run will come in to score from third as that'll knock things up at one apiece. Now batting. Football. Drew. At the plate, Drew Jackson. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Jackson hits a little over the 270 mark. A bullet to first base. Stepping in, Tyler White, and their runners at the corners now. Tyler White. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. And both runners will score as they've taken the lead here at 3-1. to one. Now batting the center fielder, D.J. Peters. Into the box now, D.J. Peters. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is the left fielder. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Into the box, Cabert Ruiz. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way. And He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now he's... And the center fielder is under it to make the catch. And the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And set to go as the third baseman, Gray Kessinger. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Count even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Raymond Goodwan enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Taylor. Taylor Jones will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. The 1-1 one -one home. Ball. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Jack Mayfield will be next, and he's back standing. Skied into straightaway right. Rayleigh is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Ready once again, Jack Mayfield. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Two out with the man at first. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. 
swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Rene Blanco takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 58. Top half of the sixth about to get started and standing in the outfielder Luke Rayleigh. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Now to the plate, Jake Peter. A hit in two tries so far. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. And the pitch. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And now it'll kick around in the corner. The throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that the designated hitter, Errol Robinson. So now to the plate, Errol Robinson. Fly ball right down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. ball. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Zach Rex would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the DH, Ronnie Dawson. One and one, here it comes. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's safe. Now that the pitcher. Plate now, Corey Lee. And it's one and two. A runner at second, nobody out. Count still at one and two. From the stretch, skied into straightaway right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? The relay throw. Throw won't get him. Coming to the plate now, Chaz McCormick. He went down on strikes last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Three and two now. And the payoff pitch. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back. No double play. Now at the plate, Alex McKenna. He was a ground out victim last time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit high and deep out to left. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And the run's going to score as they inch back a bit closer. It's now a 5-2 ball game. Now back, Steven. Standing yeah. in now, Stephen Wren. And, whoa, oh, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now back. So the lineup the flips base over base. and digging in. Yeah. Great Kessinger. We'll see if he can come through on a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and that will end the inning.
seventh inning ready to roll and next it'll be the outfielder Zach Rex from the windup the one one pitch ball two ball one strike he's fallen behind now three and one and just when you needed a shutdown inning a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda he needs a bear down right here and a good take there as they'll have a leadoff now man back. aboard to start the seventh it's ball four yeah. five two our score as we play inning number seven runners on the move for second swing and a liner that gets down he's got himself a base hit and this will find the wall deep in the corner not in time and he's in there with a double the batter the first baseman Tyler White stepping in now Tyler White still one and two as he fouls it away from the stretch again he sends it out of play he got a mistake right there but missed it can't foul that pitch off in a big spot 0 2 count heater caught too much of the zone and a swing and a miss a big strike out here as it'll remain second and third but with one away now second and third here one man out and he lays off for a ball two and one. There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. He's in at second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Riley Farrell comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. In now, Cabert Ruiz. Fly ball right down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Ready for another shot now. now Luke Rayley. He could right really field. use a knock here. Three. 0 for 3 in the game three. so far. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. One strike. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate now, Jake Peter. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Kessinger is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Into the box, Jeremy Pena. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Hit hard down the right field line, but that's a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch and that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. So striding forward now Taylor Jones 0 for two from him so far in this one. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. Oh and it's off target and he'll be safe at third. Victor Gonzalez is going to have his work cut out for him here. Two runners in scoring position, so he'll try to leave them right where they are. So now to the plate, Jack Mayfield. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two.
Heading out towards shallow right. Rayleigh has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Digging in now, yeah, Ronnie man. Dawson. He'll try but to follow up hitter. the double in his last oh, at-bat with another big hit right here. Oh, and he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Digging in to try it again. Corey Lee. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Lee. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Christian Santana. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Lifted into center field. McKenna has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Errol Robinson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the left fielder, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And he is in there at third with a one-out triple. Now batter, the left fielder. Back. Into the box now, Zach Rex. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Another 1-2 delivery. Ball two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. The 3 2 one more time lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Fouled off. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Wren has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. How bad? Standing in, Drew Jackson. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. One two pitch hit back up the middle and they will get no he's in there a very close play at first now that the first baseman Tyler White at the plate Tyler White uh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two man this guy's been locked in all game long I don't know where that ugly swing just came from and this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in standing.
the 2-2 one more time. Hit hard. But this is a foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. 3-2, two, two. No. Two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another payoff pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at-bat. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. In now, Chaz McCormick. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Just hung in there on that one. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Now with the plate, Alex McKenna. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now batting, right fielder, Steven. Into the box, Steven Wren. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base now as we go back to the top of the order. Now at the plate, Gray Kessinger. He flew out in his last at bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to come in. When you throw it glove side like that. In the score, the runner from third. And the stop sign will smartly go up at third as they hold the second runner, and they'll again be loaded with still nobody out. Stepping in now, Jeremy Pena. Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Rayleigh is in now to put it away, and that'll keep the runner from tagging. Digging in and looking for more, Taylor Jones. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. The next three, two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Joe Broussard trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Jack Mayfield will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And it misses three and one now. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here's the payoff pitch. 
drilled right back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. The bottom, the designated hitter, Ronnie. To the plate now, Ronnie Dawson into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. In to score, the runner from second. Now batting, the catcher. Standing in now, Corey Lee. Lee. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Swing and a miss, strike two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Willie no, Cagado enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping up to the plate, D.J. Peters, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now got it. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And K Bear Ruiz will dig into the plate. A little bit outside. Two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Ready to take his hacks again, Luke Rayleigh, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Riding in once again, Jake Peter. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. McKenna is there, two gone. Digging in once again, Not Christian bad. Santana. Perfect. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Santana. Now the three and two pitch. Swing, high drive, left field and deep into the Crawford boxes and gone. Joe Biagini comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. At the plate now, Errol Robinson lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. set for the bottom of the ninth and that'll bring up the outfielder Chaz McCormick a little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside big sweeping breaking ball right there good pitch but if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone down the left field line and deep and no one will get this one. Oh. 
grounded up the first baseline. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Chaz McCormick is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. The right field. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Great Kessinger would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. 13-7 is how this one ends. The Dodgers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Raymond Goodwan wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.